Today, we answer the question, what if Pokemon was a survivor-like or bullet heaven? Hi, Adi Ho, everyone. My name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome to Tim Tim Swarm. That name sounds familiar because the game Tim Tim came out a couple years ago. Actually, one of the few Kickstarter programs that I backed. It was supposed to be a competitor to Pokemon. Maybe not, you know, like a one-to-one -one competitor. This is the worst. <laughs> with a focus more on MMO. You'd see other players, you could interact with players, the entire thing is fully playable through co-op and all that sort of stuff. I really enjoyed the game, but I don't think it blew up as much as they'd hoped. So they pushed out their final major update and are since moved on to work on different projects, such as Tim Tim Swarm. This survivor-like is actually multiplayer, but because this is a closed test, I'm currently solo, so we'll be rocking it solo. You get to choose your Temtems, which I'm assuming is your starting character, and you get to start with cute little Platypet. I have a little figurine of him. They sent a little plushie. It's adorable. Now this is what's got me interested, because just like Temtem or Pokemon, you actually get to evolve during your run. So like evolve Pokemon? I, Monkey Brain loves that. It looks like a water toxic type. Some basic stats here. Their ultimate is Tsunami. Huge Tsunami at high speed that sweeps the floor for several meters. And Wave. Wave that damages random enemies. We are Trait. We gain damage per level of water or toxic techniques. And 0% skills. So I'm sure there's some sort of meta progression to this. It is a survivor-like. And if you're like, what the fudge is survivor-like? Oh, have you not heard? Imagine a game, a bullet hell game. But instead of you avoiding the bullets, you're the bullet hell. And next thing you know, you haven't slept for 48 days. I don't know if anybody's agreed on a name. I still think it should be called Bullet Heaven. Currently one map, looks like there'll be more. And again, this is just a closed test to try and see what people think of the game. But already, I like it. Why? It's Temtem. I enjoy Temtem. I love Temtem's art style, which is what they're using. Cute little 3D overworld effect. And again, knowing I'm gonna get to evolve this little cutie. Now, with our first level, that means we get a perk. We get to choose between uh, the Fierce Claw technique, which is a melee neutral type, scratches the nearest enemy. So like a Survivors, I'm assuming we get X amount of abilities or passives that we get to choose. Tsunami appears to already be taken up a slot. Again, I'm not entirely sure. A gear here that increases our damage. Increases Tim Tim damage for 5%. Okay, nothing great. Or a Fortify Band, which increases our armor. I am going to opt for damage. Okay, so that did fill one of the slots on the left. So I'm going to assume the slots on the left are items and the slots on the right are techniques, aka items and abilities. Um, The best part about these games, although a turnoff for some, is the fact that it's auto-aim, more or less. I like these because when I'm tired, which frankly, I'm chronically tired, it doesn't take a lot of effort to play these games. Mentally, it's enough to just keep me focused and all my attention, which is what I look for in games, you know, like an escape. But then I'm I'm not worried about, you know, cranking 90s, a lot of mechanics, any of that sort of stuff. We have another technique here, another normal type key field, an area that extends around the Temtem and deals consistent damage. Increase Pan Suns gained or increase armor. Pan Suns is currency. I don't know if you use that in a run or that's meta progression outside of it. I'm going to go with armor now. We're just going to go for a good first run. Or this is 100% what we're going to get. A new technique, Water Blade. It's a harmful water projectile. Now we're going to take this because our passive, you read it before, seems to scale off if we get more water and poison techniques and the levels they consist of. So ideally, I'm going to try and fill all my techniques with water and poison. You know, a lot of the survivor likes, at least the ones that I really like, you real want to get the unga bunga brain going. The, the monkey brain, the serotonin, it's having synergies. So if you were to get toxic ink with tsunami wave and you max them or something, then you could combine them or they would evolve into something cooler. I like that. You can see we're going to be finding some new mobs who are probably harder to kill, but also probably drop better uh, XP or gear or, I don't know, pan suns in this case. And I actually have my ultimate ready. I'm very tempted to click it, although it seems a little overkill for now. But I'm going to upgrade our toxic ink since these are all upgrades. Uh, and I just want to see what techniques do when they evolve. So in this case, just a little more damage on hit. Speak of the devil. I do see some sort of a waypoint or a way marker on the right side of the screen. So we're going to run over there to see what the heck that's all about. It's it's a fine balance of killing, but making sure you're collecting. Ooh, this might be yep, a destructible. Uh, collecting all the XP you are dropping. And I should probably just pop my ultimate. Yeah, let's just pop it. Let's see what that does. Okay, so giant AoE. Oh my. Just straight up a freaking a nuke. Just kill everything on the screen. Okay. We can go on the water. Well, first off, I would hope so since... I'm a water type, and also it appears we have some sort of an elite enemy or something. Something that is shinier and seemingly with a bigger health bar. 
I will say the hitbox appears to be a little deceptive so far. Like, see, like, did I really get hit there? Mm, I would challenge a ref on that one. Oh, pause. We can evolve. So our typing stays the same. We gain more health, more attack, and more movement speed. Oh, this is, oh, now we're freaking talking. Okay, stay in the air. Okay, stay in the air to activate an event. Okay, we activated it. Maybe it's damage this or kill enough things around it. Or is it AoE us? I don't know. I will say uh, I'm in pain. We're kind of getting dick, chief. <gasps> the loot box. Oh, I don't even know why I got that. And you know what I learned recently? The developer of Vampire Survivors, before that, I believe actually worked on designing slot machines for casinos. I know. Really? Never really did like that guy. My God. Yeah, he must have made some banger slots because it works. We neither get an upgrade or 20 pan suns. Oh, or we can take all. Again, I'm backtracking to grab all this stuff, but I don't want to miss it. Hopefully they have... Oh, oh, okay. Something important spawned over there and it's coming after us. Oh, it's a big one, isn't it? Oh, and he's just spawning things all over the map. What the fuck? Now that I think about... Oh, oh, I have my ultimate. Oh, fudge. I totally forgot. It just told me last time I had it, so I thought it would do it again. But, oh my... Okay, wait. First off... First off, can we... Hey, yo, can I... Maybe I need some more defense or health or... Summoning circle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What did I summon? Oh, just more things to kill. I should not have done that with a boss right next to me. Um, oh, oh, dang it. What is this? Speak of the devil. Yes. Okay. These are synergies, my, my friends. And a lot of them too. Oh, it's only showing us things we've taken. So we don't yet know the synergies. Right in front of my salad. So there is some item I don't have that would evolve this. But since our items are full, I'll never see that this run. Uh, so, and, yeah, okay, well, at least we figured that out. You know, I, I had fun. Defeated. I was defeated by that thing. That kind of seems embarrassing. But we achieved some things. Okay. Oh, my God, wait, we got a lot of pan suns for something. Oh, okay, so this is why. We played Spanky, we survived five minutes, we traveled a thousand. Oh, oh, wow, we did a lot of things. Okay, upgrade water blade to level five. Yeah, there you have it. And if I'm to understand this correctly, there are that many challenges for each of these categories. So there are quite a bit. See what we've got going now. So I don't know. Again, in this closed play test, you can request access if you want. Also, this isn't sponsored or anything. Uh, if there are other Tim Tim starter Tim Tim to get, there's a lot of things. It would sail here, like, you know. Oh, yeah, most of this is coming soon. And maybe again, not available in the play test, or you unlock it. Where do we use our pan suns? Because as far as I can tell, Nowhere to use them yet. Hey there, Future Fruit here with a little editor's note. So after this first game and the second game, I was trying to figure out how the meta progression worked and skill trees and stuff. And I thought it might just not have been implemented in the playtest, which was a weird decision. But turns out, yeah, I was wrong. It is in the game. So we'll get there when we get there. So just going to leave out all the parts where I was confused because, yeah, we figured it out. Okay. Well, if I learn that synergy, wait a second. It, it doesn't seem to permanently reveal the synergies. The devs, I, w I would do that. It doesn't really make sense. We were getting dicked on, so armor or HP would matter, which is why I'm going to go cooldown. You guys know me. Come on now. Oh, and I can just run into people? Ooh, even more unga bunga. Oh, God. Well, here we go. <laughs> or increases absorption area of pickups. So everything on the ground, we like that. Because then we'll be able to, uh, assumedly, probably double it at some point. However, I don't know if I'm going to invest all my skill points into that early on. Ooh, rare. Multivitamin. Increases Temtem HP recovery rate. Oh, I get to recover health? Say less. And my little boy Platypet is trying so hard, but I tell you what, we just take damage. Like, I, sw I swear, man, I'm, I'm not hitting some of these dudes, but another feedback would be like, it, it can be even faint, but some sort of like a little rate, like a circle or something under my character showing my actual hitbox. I feel like I'm just not getting hit, but obviously I am. So Fierce Claw would give us a new technique, but I'm sticking with this. Oh. This is a mistake, isn't it? At this point, if if we don't find more techniques, I mean, we're just gonna lose anyway, right? Get out me way. I actually don't think the barrier does damage. I guess that makes sense. I hate it. You know, I I, I wish it would. That would be way more helpful for me right now, but understandable. Okay, now we can get water, but that's at least a third one. Okay, yeah, we really like that dude's one shot. Just freaking, just to hit him. Just right, rightfully pooped him. What? Okay, I can evolve, but like. All right, fine, I'll do it. I gotta watch the animation this time. Yada! It's water shield. I'm not gonna lie, Chief. I don't know if it's it. I'm gonna ult. Can we, can we damage this guy? Can we? 
Surely it's not AoE me. If so, that's that's insane. Come on! Hit it! Oh, we're, we're gonna die. We're gonna die before I get to kill this thing. Do it! No, you went the wrong way. I guess I gotta go Fierce Claw. I don't want to, but I need more dead. We are, okay. We are, we're dead. Yeah. Okay, but see here, defeat Golzi. That looks like an egg. Maybe that's how we get a new starter. I'm just gonna take any other techniques that do damage. It looks like we might not even have that many unlocked. There's a lot more in the game, but we don't have them unlocked. I'm gonna start with key field because this is a little more what I'm looking for. AOE damage field. Yeah, I've been upgrading our techniques, but that hasn't really been working. With that said, I'm upgrading our techniques. <laughs> I don't know if it's coincidence, but so far. Oh, and the AOE on this is consistent. All right, I'm already I'm already calling it. This is this is the goat. Reminds me of uh, garlic and vampire survivors too. But I, I always enjoy the AOE field, especially just because early game. One, it one shots those little mobs, so I don't have to worry about it hitbox whoa but legend okay increases tim tim hp recovery to half the other options get that fluid barrier no yeah i'm grabbing this also because maybe just like that maybe that unlocks uh a synergy or something for us or like that was some sort of an achievement this thing okay so so far the first upgrade for key field increases the area so yeah and we get a loot box bam 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 upgrade our wave and some pan signs let's see we can kind of take these dudes down easy peasy by just sort of sort of tickle give them a little bit of a Dare I say rim job? Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. These, these temp temps that you said what now? You did what to that guy? Well, suddenly some of the temp temps are. Hey, yo. I'm. You know what I mean. And because of our passive regen too, we've only been taking a little bit of damage. Little bit of dicking. Just enough dicking that we're healing it. That's my favorite kind of di I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm out of pocket this video. I'm so sorry. Th this one has just been a case of, well, I'm actually just killing things. Oh, and if I just have to damage this thing, wait, key field will be way better than that. Or is it kill what it spawns? No, I don't think so. Okay, uh, screw I'm ulting. What the fudge? Too many people. All right, all right. We got the kill. Oh, and just like that, we got toxic ink. And while I do want to kind of get used to them to pull some damage, it's a risky game. And for what? Oh, there is a magnet pickup. Oh, big. Yeah, we're starting to feel, at the very least, I think we're going to see the final evolution. That's what I'm here for. Oh, <gasps> okay, okay, okay. We're doing it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think this is synergy time. I don't know if it works like that, but all right, I'm going to ult too. This boss is tanky, brother. What the hell? I got him on the back foot. Okay, and more gamba, more loot. Yes, sir. Well, three of them. All right, we maxed out our magnet so now we just have double the pickup radius we leveled up toxic ink and we got some hand signs uh of course okay so never mind yeah doesn't synergize with what we have and still not finding anything new let's max out wave though right why not it also eliminates showing that showing up in future roles I will tell you what, though. I swear this is ramping up, brother. Uh, let's reduce the cooldown of Toxic Ink, I guess. Or increase... Um, I don't... See, I wish I had a reroll option. I know. This is me after I... Uh, food poisoning, bro. Uh, I'm exploding in the front and the back. Okay, here we go. All right, nice. We got Water Blade. Boom. We got all of our techniques now. And that water uh, fan item thing we have now is at least proccing on two different things. What is this about? Come on, man. We're just... Why can't I? Where's my final Evo, bro? Oh, no. Boy, they, that passive health is the only reason we made it. Oh, 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 speed boost. Maybe I can beat him to it and activate whatever the fudge this thing is. What'd I do? Don't leave the area for 15 seconds. Oh, I'm bone. Oh, this is how it ends, huh? Always wanted to know how I'd go out. And now I know. Oh, my God. What? That one felt so much better. Well, I defeated one boss. I mean, it was drastically better than the other one, that's for sure. And damage-wise... Okay, well, Wave did more than Key Field, but also we were that, and then our passive. And we got some unlocks. Oh, wait a second. It says unlock skill trees. Okay, it is in the game. All right, here we go. Sure enough. Ooh, okay. All right, I already... I'm a fiend for skill trees, let's be honest. So this is already peak of my interest. What do we got here? Increases our luck. Go out on a limb here and say that uh, better chances of getting better uh, upgrades, rarities. Increases pants on gain. Increases range of pickup. These aren't in the game yet. I Or maybe they are. We just have to unlock the uh, challenges. Reduces cooldown of ultimate. So we could probably get that up to a 10% reduction. Increase tsunami damage by 10. That seems... What? That seems pretty good, right? Because the base damage is like 10 or something. 
Increase Pierce Projectile by 1. Increase Area of Techniques by 5%. Reduce the cooldown of Techniques by 2.5. Increase Temtem's Speed by 10% on each upgrade. Increase Armor by 5. Increase Temtem's Damage by 5. Yeah, yeah, see the meta progression. Increase Maximum HP by 5. Increase Crit Damage, Crit Probability, Status Effect Durations. The Damage Water Type. Yeah. Okay. So even though I've unlocked this, because I haven't unlocked this, I can't get to any of that. So this increased speed off the rip for 150 seems pretty good. Uh, armor, 5% for 250, seems pretty good. Damage for 10%, 250, seems pretty good. Increase a little bit of max HP. We're kind of just spreading out here. Reduce the cooldown of ultimate a little bit, sure. Increase tsunami damage, that does seem massive. I might invest more into that. Reduce cooldown of techniques by 2.5. At 5% total, I could spend the rest on this tsunami damage or like reduction damage. Yeah, I should probably do that. Tim Tim damage increased. More damage. How about that? I lied. Now, suddenly, we got a better chance, right? I don't know, but I'm feeling better about this one. This is the run. And see, I already missed Keyfield because this early on, freaking goaded, bro. Exactly what I need. Now, actually, we I think we can try to metagame this. Okay, see, that's not where I wanted that to be aimed. Key field. Boom. Yes, sir. Now, water blade this early is nice. We want to stack the water and poison. And the way I'm going to metagame it is we know, so far, every time, the first waypoint has been down there. I am... Got to Increase duration of techniques? I really like the HP recovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though we already had it, and like I might want to max other things out for, again, those achievements. We're just going to try and get a good run in here. At the very least, you know, a couple more waypoints. See what those unlock. Like that one we tried to beat and then horrendously failed. Probably could have uh, avoided picking up that fruit. That wasn't necessary. I could have saved that for later. Just like I know some of you do with my videos. Hi, oh, because it... save fruit for later. I have to think that they mean mine it's highlighting mine so i think it just means i'll pierce more people by one i think you know i'm going lunchbox going a little safe right now call me crazy mr fruit you're crazy come on man. i know i've let down the unga bunga -ers. we're stronger together if we hold w ape stronger together what am i doing trying to make sure apes survive actually that's what i'm doing i'm just making sure we don't go in extinct i could get more speed I think we try and max out the passive healing as, as early as we can. So we're already closer to the waypoint. We're already ahead of the game, ahead of the curve. I know what's up. Slowly kill these. Let's well, see our increased damage from our thing. It means like our key field just one shotting those dude. Where before it was two shot. And depending on what we get here, it could be a big boon for us. But because of our uh, AOE pulse as well makes uh killing this thing a lot easier we are taking a little bit of damage but honestly not that bad and i don't know if that was a level up or something we got we could still get increased pierce but i think that'll only be for that ability and as far as i can tell that's not going to be a synergy increased armor more defensive but kind of feels right let's just go for more max hp for now you know i don't want to commit to something too early the committal issues i say as i'm a married man devout would, would die for my queen. Let's just get this for... Uh, nah, increase area of the key field. We'll get the... Oh my word, what happened to that fellow? He's gone. Uh, make sure we pick up everything. And then the the next waypoint should just be farther to the right here. I guess I should pay attention to, to the timers. Maybe like first waypoints like well, at 130 or two minutes. Uh, let's increase wave. All right, see, and then I'm doing the thing again where I want to go forward. But all the XP keeps... So I'm just going to go for it. Just go for it. More or less. I mean, like, you know, make sure if we can pick up the easy stuff. But Okay, we could evolve, frankly. Yeah, especially considering it might not be guaranteed, right? I was about to ult, but I also know that the, uh, the boss is about to spawn. And I did that last time. And I'm not going to fall. Okay, so it did spawn at 330. So maybe it was like 130 and then 330 or two and then 330. Increased armor, increased area. Ah, uh, I kind of like the area idea, Chief. Armor wouldn't be bad though, helping with all the HP we're getting. But nah, especially because the area is so far scaling everything we're using. Beep, 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 beep. And it makes it a little bit easier to kite with the key field. All right, let me step on this thing, especially before the boss comes. 
make quick work of these. Oh, and I'm freaking zooming, brother. Oh, I don't remember seeing these things. What the fuck? So it's random. What the hell? Also, maybe I never, I, I haven't actually ended up beating Temtem. I was waiting for the last update and I never played it when it did. So some of these Temtem must be from there because I don't, I don't recognize them. We can upgrade any of these. I'm certainly tempted to just hit the key field. Nah, I'll maybe a shorter water blade. It'll have the lowest cooldown. Kill those suckers. Wonder what the boss hasn't spawned yet. Am I just that much further ahead than I did there? Fluid barrier? No. This uh, increases area and duration. Sure. Love that. Freaking love that, bro. Try and catch the. Okay. Sheesh. Wait, that was like a legendary looking XP thing or something. But the boss isn't. If the boss only spawns at like five minutes. Then man, yeah, we we were so far. It just shows you the difference now. Uh, increase wave. Get a little bit more damage, a little more kill power. And I guess, yeah, same thing. I guess I should start heading top left because I know the waypoint will be over there. And the sooner I go, the less odd the sunk cost fallacy of sticking around for all that XP here. I, I, I was literally about to say that. I was like, but the sooner we go too, I can always find a magnet. And what do we do? What do you know? There's a magnet. Okay, so he does not get knocked back by the by the ultimate. Oh, but we're just standing around on top of him when he does that. Max out our HP recovery. And then, oh, see, this is it. We're kiting him just barely. We're taking all the hits, but with our AoE damage. This is Apatamal. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. But we melted him compared to what we've done before. Upgrade wave, upgrade key field, and got us some pants on. Yes, sir. Keep moving. Going for the other waypoint because... Actually, I'm not entirely sure where. It's somewhere in this direction. Maybe a little more northeast or east or west. Can't think of directions. You think it'd be better at that living in Colorado, too. One of the perks of Colorado when you're outside, as long as you can see the mountains, you are you always know, unless you're in the mountains, uh, cardinally where you are. It's like in the Denver area, if you see the mountains, that's west. Easy to, easy to figure it all out. Ever else, especially like living in Florida. Or like visiting my family in Georgia. There's trees everywhere. How in the world am I supposed to know where I am? Uh, let's just fully upgrade the wave. Water blades pogging, but we'll get to it. Now we're getting lots of green XP. Mm. And hopefully, okay, so I have hit level 15. There should be a possibility to get that evolve every time we level up. At least, it, I don't know if you got to complete a challenge oh, or we're just getting unlucky. Let's upgrade water blades some more. And okay, so here is the waypoint that killed us last time. But also, the sooner we tackle them, the easier it'll actually be. Because in this case, you know, we're going to get swarmed. Well, if we're getting swarmed at 7 minutes compared to 12 minutes. Yeah, tackling these as soon as possible is the play. And oh, big magnet. Love that. Uh, we're going to sit right here. And carefully, tr we're going to take a lot of damage. But thankfully, my ult is going to delay them a while. Okay, all right. We're taking damage. But, oh, we got this. Okay, three, two, one. Everything hurts. Okay, loot box, though. It's worth it for the loot. Max level on water blade. We got healing. We got pansons, and we upgraded the key field. Well, I accept you. And lots of XP over here. Oh, don't mind if I do. Can increase our damage or max out our key field. So, actually, all the techniques we currently have are maxed out. So I should be on the lookout for new ones now. Could get the poison one. There's only so many, though, that we've unlocked. Because it's, if I'm thinking about it, we only have, like, poison, the poison breath, water barrier, and the, like, fury swipe thing. Which I don't think I've taken yet, so I don't really know what it does. Or we had it for such a short duration, I never really got to see. It's hard to say which one's the best. I don't know. Maybe the defense of the bear would be nice now that I have offense. But uh, instinctually, I'm thinking just four damaging is just going to be better in the long run. But... I don't know. The, uh, oh, I was about to say the other waypoint should spawn here soon and literally on command. Increase area or increase armor. Increase area more. Well, the armor isn't a bad idea. Might be regretting not taking it. I'm going to save my ult for whatever this uh, waypoint thing might be. Because most of them seem to be you got to stick around and not die, essentially. Oh, and I am. I really want that gold. Uh, I don't know why. Because, wow, that hurt. We're so much further than we were in the last run. We're really doing it. We're really meta-progressing. 
And with all the pantsments we got and all the challenges we beat, we'll be able to progress even more next time. Oh, uh, yeah. Why, uh, survivor likes are dangerous, man. So easy to lose time. Okay, I'm gonna ult here in a second. I hope a boss doesn't spawn soon. We never got to... Oh, I thought... The cherry thing popped up. I thought that was a boss. I was like, there ain't no one. Hmm. Okay, so... It's either Fierce Claw or... The Poison thing. Scratch is the nearest enemy. Yeah. Yeah, alright. If I'm lost... Because I might even... I might just be dead anyway, apparently. Okay, all... The only thing that that dropped was healing. Which, cool, I needed it, but also, like... No upgrades or anything? Come on. Okay, and there's a boss. Holy, definitely unprepared for it. Big boy, huh? He's trying to fist me. Oh, wait. Okay, we got lots of new spawns now. The 10 minute mark. I don't think we had gotten here last time. Trying to bob and weave, avoid any damage while also grabbing that cherry. Okay, or I'll take damage trying to get the cherry. I'm trying to be proactive because, but, well, I was like, I want to get the next waypoint, but I actually have no idea where the next waypoint would be. So, only so much I can do. Pierce Claw, more damage, I guess. Upgrade that as soon as we can. And if I can keep the boss to be the closest thing next to me, we'll nuke him a little faster. Well, I say nuke as if I'm actually nuking him. Okay, but we only have so many things to upgrade, so this should be pretty helpful. Lunchbox up. We got... Crystals, which I guess just get pants on, peaches, and more pants on. Okay, wouldn't have, wouldn't have minded some actual more combat upgrades right now, but you know, meta progress, that's okay. We're investing into the future. And a burn drive, which I assume puts a dot on all of them. Yep. And we're still just waiting for the next waypoint. If I can get to 15, I know that's another big challenge. Whoa, big fellas. That would unlock, assumedly, something pretty good. Might, might even be the next map. I don't know. I assume. There is an end, whether that be like 15, 20 minutes, or like having to kill, like at 20 minutes it spawns the final boss and you have to kill that or do all the waypoints. I don't know. I, I imagine the waypoints are just extra. No reason not to do them, but also not critical. Fluid barrier. What? Am I, am I crazy? How would I be able to take fluid barrier? I have all four of mine filled, right? Ah, yes. I would have to swap. Oh, wait, then that makes it way more worth it to grab just any technique early on. Because then it makes us stronger earlier, and then I know I can just swap it out later. Okay. Let's raise attack area even more. And again, hey, yo, I keep forgetting. Where's my final Evo, brother? Don't tell me that's locked behind a challenge. Monkey want to see Big Tim Tim. Ooh, and a golden one. Hef, hef. All right, we got some sort of a fruit thing here. Dragon fruit, I think. I should probably know, huh? Aren't you supposed to be an expert on fruits? Wait, what? You think Dr. Uthos is a doctor? Like, you gonna be able to help somebody in a medical emergency? What do you want from me? Now, Dr. Disrespect, well, it seems like he lives up <clears throat> while we bob and weave. Yeah, the passive HP regen just seems too goaded. Don't know how I would, I would live without it. This would only add two damage. There's nothing crazy, but. Uh, all right, we gotta, we gotta hide under the Shinto shrine or gates. Beat as many Temtem as you can before time runs. Okay, well, let's start with an ultimate. Oh, and, ah, they spawn hand suns. Okay, so, help, again, you know, helping out Mr. Future Fruit. All right, I, well, I still think that was pretty successful. I don't know if you know what I mean. But if each one of those is one, it's actually not as good as I might think. You got to think 15 minutes is going to be another boss. And again, I'm going to get that challenge unlocked, so hopefully your boy survives until then. I mean, unless, like, something crazy spawns at 14 or 14.30, I think we can at least live. Okay, I could get Toxic Ink now. It would reset some of our levels, but... Would also help our passive give us more damage. So, we're gonna do that. To me. Is it the best course of action? I don't know, but 10 seconds and... We gonna make it, and then hopefully we can kill the boss. And... Wait, what? Oh, oh, Jesus. I was like, wait, there's no one here. Oh, that's weird. No, it was just a big summoning. Oh, and I wonder if we're like stuck in a ring. Maybe it's just a screen effect. I don't know if it was like a, you know, like an arena. Uh, gonna say though, we're real tanky. Yeah, no way, no other way to say that. But as long as you sit there or you chase me like this. Now, hold on, where you going? Where you going? Chill, 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 chill. We got one threshold, at least a third of the way. 
Oh my god. Wait, these normal mobs are starting to hit. That freeze drive looking real nice right now. No. I will kill this dude. Gotta be a nice challenge, right? I just have to make sure. I imagine if I get hit. That must have been what chunks me. Uh, I, I need to damage the boss, but I can't get to the boss. There's too many mobs. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Oh, I see what's happening. I'm locked on too. <gasps> Oh, so that's probably what nuked me before. Okay. Okay. Level up. Wait. I thought I leveled up. I did. <gasps> yes. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. We're doing it. Yes. Now we're talking. Now I'm big boy. Okay. And it appears I've activated enrage phase or something. Oh, but my boy's so fast and he's so sick looking. There's nothing we can't do. Okay. I'm feeling a lot better now. Surely. Surely this is it, right? Oh. 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 Okay. Ah, oh, I, I disagree. Okay, maybe I can go around. No, that didn't work. But my water strike is passively hitting them. <gasps> oh, jeez. Come on. Get the kill. Ah, God, and these freaking... It's a little bowl of boners, bro. Okay, that's fine with me. Keep doing that. I can avoid that. Unless he does his lock-on thing. Oh, come on. Come on, keep chasing me. Keep chasing me. Real... <gasps> ah! Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, 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 come on. In a way. Yes! Yes! Oh, we just beat it easy. Never worried. All we needed was just a little bit of meta progression. Nice. And we got the full evolution. That was big. That was big. Damage wise, wave and key field popped off for us. Love that. Now, what we unlocked? All right, we unlocked a holster. Whatever that is, we unlocked the next map. We got a digital egg, an electric egg, more gear, more skill node, full tank pansons. Heck yeah. Capture, oh, capture Ori and capture Inky. Those must be new starters. Hold up. Oh, to capture this Temtem, beat the waypoint spot at the three minute mark. Increase damage dealt by plot of pet trait by 0.5%. That like doubles it, right? Or something? Pretty big. We have to get all the way there to unlock it. Crit probability. Did I lock anything else new? But pantsome wise, I can buy more. Okay. I wonder how many of the Tims are actually in this. Three already seems like a good bet for just this little play test if I had to wager. Because I don't think this game's set to release until next year, I believe. Feel free to wishlist it or try to get into the play test if you guys want. That is Tim Tim Swarm. I enjoyed it, especially once I realized, yeah, like there is more stuff in this play test to, to find out. We just had to unlock it. Because then we have the meta progress and then things started to make sense. And from here we keep unlocking new techniques, so new attacks to get in runs. We're about to get new just straight up Tims, which completely changes the way you play. New evolutions. As a survivor-like enjoyer, I'm looking forward to this one. If you enjoyed this video, I think you might enjoy this one. With that said, thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Very well.